Hello. Uh, I'm Sophie Chipon from the French Hiking Federation, La Fédération Française de la Randonnée Pédestre. Let's go with the video, please. I'm going to talk about a different way of hiking the world. No longer on land trails, but on special ways that we call waterways or aquatic trails. These trails are referred as blue paths or blue trails. The original uh, activity that gave rise to this sport was created in 2005 in the north of France and it's called Longe Côte. We can translate walking along the coast and the English spelling is aqua walking. Aqua walking is now practiced in about 11 countries, France, Spain, Italy, Germany, Belgium, UK, Greece, Tunisia, Algeria, Emirates, and New Zealand, and is registered in the 12th sport of the Mediterranean Beach Games. I would like to emphasize two important elements for us today. First of all, the coastal paths have always had a specific attractiveness linked to the magic of a hybrid space composed of water and land. It seems in interesting to me to point out the interest of this waterway, which can be listed as sport geographically adapted to aqua walking. This allows to valorize out of the summer season deserted seaside resort to a large part of the year. The hybrid space of the beach between land and sea is a universe in itself associated with the beach life with its code and value. Cities along the coast are fond of this off-season enhancement of their territory and also wanting to preserve this coastline. The second element lies in the fact that aqua walking has major advantage for health. A non-traumatic sport, it has been recognized by scientific and medical studies as a healthy sport. For all these reasons, European Rambler Association has created in, in 2019 an aqua walking steering committee to manage the development of the sport in a coordinated way within sport federation. Thanks for listening. I'm at your disposal to answer all your questions. And now let's listen to Shino Sesuda from Japan.